we are basically picking up where we left off in my last vlog. <laughs> So in my last vlog, I said that I was going to split these vlogs into two different ones and that's what I'm going to do. And I also said that I was going to do my makeup. So that's also what I'm going to do. I've not been doing my makeup a lot lately um, unless I'm like filming a video, which I'm not, I'm not doing that today. So um, I'm just kind of like hanging out a little bit. So I wanted to do a little bit of my makeup and I'm gonna go outside of my house so i just felt like makeup was appropriate today milani concealer literally my favorite thing in the world just a little bit we're not doing anything crazy i started the poppy war recently and i am really nervous about reading it uh trigger warning for a disgusting makeup sponge but <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to read it. I am also really nervous because it's super hyped. Everybody loves it. Everybody who reads it loves it, basically. Um, I've rarely heard a bad thing about this book. And so it makes me a little bit nervous to actually, like, read it for the first time. Um, that's kind of why I've been putting it off is because I'm really nervous. Just, like, what if I don't like it? What if it's not my thing? But I do think that I will actually really enjoy this book. I would be I would be genuinely shocked if I didn't like this book. That would be just mind-boggling to me <laughs> because it seems like it has a lot of things that I really enjoy. It's kind of like a darker fantasy, at least from what I've heard, and it deals with like a really badass female main character, which I love. So, you know, sign me up for that and I'm really excited. Also these e.l.f. putty bronzers and blushes. I love these things so much. I got them quite a while ago, but I've barely made a dent in them. They're just so, so nice. I think I got the lightest shade of bronzer. Um, you can barely see it on my skin, I feel like, um, especially after I blend it out, but I probably could have gotten a darker one. This one is fine though. So you can kind of see it more on the camera. Also, I started the audiobook for Where Dreams Descend, which I'm so excited about. Um, I've been wanting to read this book for the longest time, and I kept meaning to pick it up, and then I just never did. And now the audiobook is on Hoopla, which is my favorite audiobook app, website, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you have a library that uses Hoopla, I highly, highly recommend it. It's such a good audiobook website. They also have movies, music, ebooks, anything you could possibly imagine. They have it on there. Um, it's really funny because they have like really good recommendations. And one of the recommendations I got was Red Taylor's version. So I think Hoopla knows me by now. <laughs> also, I love this color of blush. It's so pretty. I just, I used to not be into blush. I used to like hate putting blush on my face. I used to think it didn't look very good on me, but I think it looks really awesome. Eek. I just, I love the look of blush. I don't know why, I just do. Good thing I'm using my mirror that's like right here because on the screen, my blush looks so different. <laughs> um. It's so crazy to me that I used to not like blush. That just seems so weird now because I think it looks so good on me. So you can hardly see it. <laughs> on the screen, it's like barely noticeable. But yeah, I actually started that audiobook on Thanksgiving because I was so full that I literally could not move. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna lay in bed and listen to an audiobook, play my little phone games and chill out and I did. I ended up falling asleep after maybe two chapters. <laughs> um, so I probably need to go back and listen to it again. But from what I remember of the beginning of that book, it is right up my alley. I love that it starts off and it just throws you right into all of like the action and like the plot of the book. Like it does not hold back and I love that. I don't mind like a slow burn plot at all but like it's so refreshing to read a book and just to be thrown right in the middle of the story and you just kind of have to like trust the writer and hold on, you know? It's fun. It's so exciting to have a book like that after having read a book where I felt like the plot just took way too long to start. So um, 
like I said, very refreshing, very different, very fun and fresh. Also, this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. It's not my fave, but it does the job. It's totally fine. I don't like to fill in my eyebrows too much anymore. Um, just like to give them a little bit of definition since you can't really see them underneath my bangs anyway. Just going to use this NYX bronzer as a bit of eyeshadow. I don't really like to do eyeshadow all that much anymore, but my eyelids get very, very oily. It's surprising. It's the only part of my face now that gets super oily. Um, ever since I stopped using a lot of powders on my face, uh, my skin is like, oh, you're not oily anymore, which is really nice. You know, I think, uh... I was really drying my skin out all, like all these years and that's why I thought my skin was oily. Um, it's not actually oily but my eyes are super sensitive and my eyelids are just for some reason so oily so if like literally anything gets into my eyeball it burns so bad. <laughs> I can feel like the teeniest tiniest little speck of anything in my eye um, and it happens like every day so it's really annoying. I'd rather not get anything in my eye, so typically the eyeshadow will kind of help my eyelids not be so oily. Is that really gross? That's probably way too much information. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I watched literally both seasons, the entire thing of Ted Lasso in less than a week, and I loved it so much. It was so good. I'm shocked because I hate soccer literally my least favorite sport just the worst thing in the world <laughs> and i ended up loving the show it was so cute and so funny and so heartwarming and just like oh it's like the best comfort show in the entire world i've been trying to get literally everybody i know to watch it and <laughs> nobody seems like super excited about it so i guess it's just me um and that's fine you know i actually think that my brother might watch it so we'll see how he ends up liking it he's more of a sports guy anyway so i'm hoping that he'll like it because it's sports even though my family is not a soccer family at all okay there we go my makeup is complete it's done i like i said it's just a very chill makeup routine it barely is anything <laughs> it actually feels it probably looks like more than it actually is but whatever Okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to update you all on. Yeah, The Poppy War, I'm reading that physically. Uh, Where Dreams Ascend, I'm listening to the audiobook. Even though I do own it physically, I might kind of like switch between physical and audiobook, especially if it gets like too confusing or something like that. Um, and then Ted Lasso, I'm loving Ted Lasso, super excited. Um, Red Taylor's version is still on repeat like all day long. So yeah, I will update you all later. I just cleaned my room. I think we might be going to go get a coffee and go to the beach, just like hang out and chill. And that's very exciting and I'm really looking forward to that. So we're gonna do that and I will talk to you all later. So it's Monday and I am about to start reading more of the Poppy War. I have it right here with me and I feel like right now I'm in a Poppy War mood. I've also been reading Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis and I am pretty far into this book. I am not reading it physically but I do own a physical copy. Also I have kind of like a late night Starbucks. It's currently 7 o'clock and I got it 
and it's delicious. Also, if you want to know, this is a peppermint mocha. Also, my loan for Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood came in on Libby today. So I don't know how I'm going to fit that book into my schedule, but we'll see if I can even get to it. It definitely won't be read in November. It's definitely going to be a December read, but I'm really excited about it. It's a Jane Eyre retelling and I love Jane Eyre as a movie. I have to like qualify that because I've never read the book. I don't even own the book, but I have watched the, I think it's a 2011 movie so many times, literally obsessed with it. Mia Wasikowska is in that movie and she is phenomenal. Also, Holiday Granger is also in that movie. Love Holiday Granger. Love Mia Wasikowska. So yeah, I, I'm like in love with that movie. I definitely need to read Jane Eyre, but, but I have to admit that when I'm not in an academic setting, I am afraid of classics. So, and I've never had to read it for like a class or anything. So I've just never gotten around to reading it. Maybe in 2022, that will be the year that I actually get to these classics that I've always meant to read and just haven't yet. So yeah, haven't read Jane Eyre yet. That's fine. Anyway, like I said, we're going to read some of the Poppy War. I think that this little tassel might be coming undone because there's some little like loose ends over here. But anyway, I am loving the Poppy War so far. I'm not super far into it, like I said before. I'm about like 20 pages into it, but so far it's amazing. I'm very impressed by it so far. I'm really enjoying it, and I think that I'm going to love it. I have some high hopes, honestly. Okay, so I just got dressed. We're in a little Walmart cardigan, my American Eagle mom jeans, so comfy. Literally didn't know what to wear today. <laughs> it's like around 65 degrees, so it's not super hot and it's not super cold. So it's just, it's tough to dress for this weather when I just like hate everything in my closet at the moment. I got dressed and I cleaned some of my room. It's really, really not great. It's, I mean, look at, there's Baby Yoda on the ground, <laughs> but I did make my bed at least. My Fairy Loot edition of Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson came in the mail today and it finally got delivered. I think I ordered it like three, four months ago, somewhere around then, and it finally came in today. So I'm really, really excited. So we're going to go and get the mail. <laughs> That's kind of why I had to get dressed and like do my hair and stuff like that because I don't want to go outside and go get the mail in like my gross sweatpants and my hair's a mess and whatever. Um, even though like literally nobody cares. <laughs> I care. I, I care. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So here's my outfit. So cute. Just like normal outfit. Not a big deal. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go to the mailbox and grab my stuff. I also want to cut my bangs today but they're not really cooperating with me at the moment so as you can see like there's this huge gap right here for no reason <laughs> um so it might not be today it might have to be tomorrow also before i forget i got this arc this romance arc in the mail recently this is the paid bridesmaid by soraya wilson and i'm really excited to read this it sounds super interesting and hopefully that will happen soon because i think it comes out in january yeah january 2022 it's not going to focus whatever you can see it it says january 2022 so yeah super excited about that and i'm going to go and grab my book from the mailbox <laughs> okay so i got the mail i picked up my package and here it is look at how beautiful it is oh my goodness I am absolutely obsessed with the special edition. Look at the spine. Look at the back. So pretty. So pretty. Oh, I'm so obsessed. 
Also, I'm really hungry now, so I think I'm going to go make some lunch and eat some food. And I think I have about two hours left of my audiobook, so I might go ahead and listen to that as well. So, super excited, you know, just living the dream today, I guess. And also, I have to check on my laundry, so <sighs> I have a couple of things I need to do. Okay, so I have been doing a lot of reading lately. I finished Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. I don't think I ever updated you all about this book um, since I was still reading it. So yeah, I finished this book. I gave it five out of five stars. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was everything I could have asked for. The romance was wonderful. I loved every second of it. The magic was beautiful. The setting was gorgeous. I loved all of like the mysteries and secrets and like things that we got to find out throughout the entire book. And I love that it kind of left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> the only thing is, is that I don't have the second book. I don't own it physically. I It's not on either Hoopla or Libby for my library. So I am possibly going to see if they have the physical copy at any of the libraries in like my library system so I could possibly request it or just go pick it up at my local library. But yeah, because it left off on a cliffhanger, I want to know what happens next and I just don't, I don't know what happens next because I don't have the book. However, I did really love this book and I was so genuinely surprised by how much I liked this book, uh, mainly because for some reason, I had just been seeing so many mixed reviews for this book and I really don't know why. I'm so confused because this book was genuinely so, so good. It kind of gave me similar vibes to The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk and The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, which two of my favorite books of the year. and. I, it's just something about it, like, I don't really know how to explain this kind of subgenre of fantasy, but I love it. It's so wonderful and magical and beautiful and romantic and fun, and I just, I really, really enjoyed it so, so much. And like I said, I cannot wait to either get the next book or possibly I did put in a request for the audiobook on... Um, overdrive so I'm hoping that I get to that request put through a lot of my requests lately have not been going through it's been taking a really long time so it doesn't seem super likely so I just I really hope that they have the physical copy at my library in the meantime I am actually listening to a book on Libby and that is within these wicked walls by Lauren Blackwood and this is a retelling of Jane Eyre which I've never read Jane Eyre but I have seen the movie, the 2011 movie, I think is what it is, the one with Mia Wasikowska, and um, I love that movie. <laughs> I love the movie, I love the, the score, it's so, so beautiful. And for a little while, like at the end of high school, kind of like late high school, early college, I was obsessed with the movie. I'm so surprised I never read the book. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm always really intimidated by that book because I'll like kind of go to check it out of the library and then I hold it in my hands and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about this. And I just put it back and never check it out. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little intimidated by Jane Eyre. It's just, it seems like a big undertaking. I'm currently 22% of the way through this book. I listened to so much of it last night because I took a shower, I blow dried my hair, and I just decided to listen to this book because I had it through Libby and I've been super excited about it and for really good reason. It's like an amazing, amazing book. It has like these really great spooky, semi-Victorian, like almost gothic vibes. It's so much fun. I was talking about it on Twitter and I was like, this book is reminding me of how much I love Agnes Obel's album Aventine. 
one of the best albums of all time. It's so good. And that album is one that I listen to a lot when I'm reading these kind of books. I'll put a couple of examples up on the screen. But it's definitely one of my other favorite subgenres of like semi fantasy almost. I mean, some of the books in that I like want to mention aren't fantasy at all but but some of them are and it just kind of has like this really like not if it's not fantasy it's just like a fantastical element it feels a bit like higher than reality um which I love I love having like a book even if it's not fantasy just be a little bit more elevated from reality um it's so much fun. I don't know what that means at all. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's kind of what goes on in my head. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. It, I mean, the audiobook is absolutely wonderful. These characters are so funny. One of the male characters names is Magnus and he is hilarious. He's very eccentric and weird and there were a couple of lines between him and the main character that I was just like, oh my gosh, like total fangirling and I am just loving it so much. I, I've already updated a couple of times on Goodreads, so if you're following me on Goodreads, then you'll know how I'm feeling about this book. So the main character's name is Andromeda. She is very serious and it's one of my favorite kind of tropes is like the serious female main character and then the eccentric, weird male character. I don't necessarily want to call him a love interest because I'm not sure if that's where this is going. Um, <clears throat> and I don't want to be wrong, but it does seem like there's a lot of chemistry between them. It seems like there might be a little hint of jealousy, possibly, um, because Magnus has like this kind of like semi-girlfriend that he like hangs around and kind of flirts with so I don't know where this is going but I'm really excited to see and it's such a fun book it's really well written and the audiobook is amazing so <laughs> that's a lot of fun I've been really enjoying that and then today I brought with me to my brother's baseball game because I ended up not being in a really good spot to actually watch the game <laughs> um, so I decided that it was fine that I had brought my book with me and that is Emily Emily Ratajkowski's book My Body and it is so good. I am currently 110 pages into this book and I'm already obsessed. It's just such a wonderful collection of essays. She has such like a strong and developed voice. This book is just so so good. It It's having a lot of really great conversations about beauty, about sexuality, about um, feminism, about how like the relationship between sexuality and feminism, um, whether it's good, whether it's bad, you know, and I really like that in the beginning of this book she talks about how this isn't necessarily trying to come to any conclusions about you know, the place that um, honing your sexuality and, and owning it, um, where that stands within feminism. It's not trying to come to any conclusion with that. It's really just trying to have a conversation and talk through it. So um, I think that, you know, I think she's doing a really good job with this book. It, it, it definitely is a really great conversation. So I'm really enjoying it. I highly, highly recommend it so far. And I'm, I think I'm a little over halfway through. I don't think that this is a super long book. It's a really tiny hardcover, as you can tell. Um, this is like a tall hardcover. And look at, look at the difference between those hardcovers. It's so tiny. But I am actually really enjoying the size of this hardcover. I wish more hardcovers were this size because it's such an, like an easy, comfortable, convenient size of like a hardcover. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. And I think I'm going to read more of this tonight. I might also pick up Within These Wicked Walls, possibly before I go to bed. But for now, it's currently 8 to 10. And I should have enough time to read more of this book. So we're going to do that. And I can't wait to see what else she has to say. <laughs> So I 
just got an iced coffee from Starbucks. We're looking cute, we're looking fresh. Um, I actually did my hair and my makeup literally for almost no reason. I really wanted a new profile picture, so I decided, okay, we'll do my hair, we'll do my makeup, put on an outfit, and we'll take a new pic. So that's what I did. I was wearing a cute little like sweater, but then it's not like super cold today, but it is just a little bit chilly. So I took off the sweater, put on, this denim jacket went and got my iced coffee and now I really want to light one of my candles so we're gonna do that I have this candle from Walmart so we're just gonna light this one this is cozy gathering now we have a candle okay so now that that's done I am going to finish up my body by Emily Ratajkowski so I only have about that much left of it not very much oops <laughs> so yeah we're gonna finish up this book and see where that takes us i really don't know what i'm gonna read next technically i'm still reading the poppy war which i probably should continue to read because it's not like i'm not enjoying it i'm really enjoying it i haven't really found the motivation to read it at the moment so we'll see how that goes um i've also been kind of debating whether i want to start doing TBRs again. I think I've kind of missed doing TBRs. Every month kind of feels a little bit incomplete when I don't have like a set list of books that I really want to get to in that month. So maybe in this new year starting January we'll start to do TBRs again. That might be really fun. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my book and then I'll come back and let you guys know what's going to be next. <laughs> So I just finished My Body by Emily Ratajkowski. It was a wonderful book. This is such an easy five out of five stars. Like I haven't read very many essay collections. I've read another one this year that I gave like three out of five stars. I wasn't really into it. I felt like with that essay collection, which was, what was it called? Trick Mirror. <laughs> I had to look up. It's actually over there. With Trick Mirror, it was more like the author had you know read a lot of these like wikipedia pages and then decided to summarize them in kind of a book report fashion um and i wasn't really into that that wasn't really what i had gone into this essay collection wanting so with this one i was a little nervous <laughs> i've never really been the type to read like celebrity books or celebrity memoirs essay collections whatever not super into it because i don't really like very many celebrities <laughs> the only one i really love is taylor swift and she hasn't put out a book so i'm not really into them um i think the only other so like true celebrity book that i have is by jessica simpson because i really want to read that i've heard really good things about it anyway we're getting off topic when i saw that emily was coming out with a book i was super excited because like i said i think earlier in this video i read the uh, article that she had put out called ugh, what is it called it was called buying myself back from the new york magazine it was published in 2020 and it was a really really beautifully written article about an experience she had had with a photographer who had taken all these polaroids of her and then subsequently years later put them all into a book and published them without her consent so that was a really great article and i knew that you know when i saw this book and that it was going to be available i wanted to read it so um thankfully my great little brother bought it for me from my amazon wish list and was like you can open your christmas present whenever so i did and this was in there and i was just so so excited so i'm really glad that i finally read it i mean i haven't had it for very long it literally just came out recently so i guess it's not like finally but um it was such a great read it was really really well written and i loved getting to learn so much more about emily as a person and her life growing up with you know her both of her parents were teachers one of them her dad was an artist and um i didn't know that she grew up in san diego which is really cool because for a few years i lived kind of close to san diego about like 45 minutes away um 
so that was actually really cool to to find out and learn and like get to know more about her experiences in high school and being a model since the age of like 14. But yeah, I highly, highly recommend this book. I just think it was really well done, really well thought out, and she has so many intense and interesting and complex stories from her life, and I, I feel like this is just a must read. It was just a really, really great book, so I'm, I'm so happy that I read it. And it, it goes by so fast because her voice and the way that she writes is just, it, just propels you through this book. You really like start reading it and you cannot put it down because you need to know what's going to happen next. And I, I think that she's just a natural. She's so good at this. So I would love to see if she puts out anything else because I'll definitely be willing to read literally anything, any book, any article that she puts out next. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It was really good. If you have even like the slightest bit of interest in this book, I definitely recommend picking it up and reading it. And I think with that, since I've read three books, I think during this entire time, I don't remember, did I, did I even talk about the Ivan Turgenev book that I read? I don't think I did. After I finished Where Dreams Descend, I don't remember if I talked about this, but I read First Love by Ivan Turgenev and that's like a short story. I I actually don't know if it'd be a short story or a novella because I think it was a little over 100 pages so I don't really know what that you know uh, what you would call that <laughs> um, but I've actually read an Ivan Turgenev book uh, previously back when I took a Russian history class that I loved because I love Russian history. So I read Fathers and Sons and that was a phenomenal book. I absolutely loved it. Um, I think there were a couple parts I didn't like. I think I gave it a four out of five stars or a 4.5, but it's one of those classic books that is just super readable. It's a lot of fun. There's like some fun like relationship things and romance things that are happening in it. Um, and just overall, I thought it was a really interesting book. But then I was like, you know what, I kind of want something really quick to read. And this one has been sitting in my hoopla for a while. So like, I might as well read it. <laughs> and so I decided to pick it up. And I think the audiobook was maybe an hour, two hours long. And it was phenomenal. I really liked it. I gave it a four out of five stars again, you know, um, I've been turning out the king of four out of five stars. But <laughs> But I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun and it basically just chronicles this main character's experience with his first love and he kind of falls in love with this princess that moves next door. She seems to be kind of like a... <laughs> uh, down on her luck princess, one that kind of needs some uh, money and stuff like that, but he ends up falling in love with her and like a lot of crazy stuff happens. And I really liked the twist in this book. I, I thought it was really well done. I definitely like knew when it was gonna happen and what it was gonna happen, but I really think that this book set it up perfectly. So um, really well done. I love the writing. I mean, this is the kind of writing that is so accessible. You know, if you're looking for a classic that you wanna get into, that's not gonna be super difficult that is going to be really interesting and engaging. I would 100% go for Ivan Turgenev, either Fathers and Sons or First Love. I wanna read more from him though. So I'll have to go on Hoopla, see if there's any other books from him and I'll definitely read them. But yeah, I love, love, love that author and his writing. So yeah. I finished three books in this uh, vlog and I loved all of them. It's definitely better than my last vlog where I was a little hot and cold on all the books, but uh, this time around, I definitely liked all of them. Uh, two five stars, one four out of five, that's pretty good. And yeah, still haven't finished the Poppy War. <laughs> so that'll definitely have to happen. Possibly my next vlog, we'll see. But I hope you all enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, TikTok, Storygraph. All of the links are going to be down below, and I will see you all in my next video or vlog. Bye!